welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Jordi, and this is Hekion. We are the lifetime travel mates, a couple who loves to travel. On this episode, we are going to the Nam Can National Park in the Bokeo province, located in the northwest of Laos, to experience flying through the forest canopies and staying two nights in the highest three houses in the world. After a few weeks traveling and working as volunteers around Laos, we wanted to leave the country with some exciting action, so we decided to try the Gibbon experience. The Gibbon experience is a conservation project that involves reforestation, sustainable agriculture and tourism, national park patrols, and for the visitors, tree houses and the most thrilling experience of hiking and zip lining through the forest. If you want to see how it is staying in the world record highest three houses at 40 meters above the ground and flying in zip lines as long as 600 meters, get ready, you are in for a ride. We first arrived to Huai Shai, a small town by the Mekong River and popular for travelers who cross border to and from Thailand, since it's just across the river. We are here in Huai Shai to do the Gibbon experience, but it's raining a lot. Raining! So we went to the office and then we, we sent an email already that we wanted to postpone before arriving here. So they checked the email and then we postponed it until Monday. We just changed the date of our given experience and we are taking a walk now around this Hua Shai town. And here my friends, this is Thailand. And this is the Mekong River. Yeah, quite a nice day. Actually we delayed our departure because of the weather. Because it's kind of storm season, they said. And Oh my god, look at all these butterflies here. It's crazy. Wow, look at them. Since we postponed the day to start our adventure, we had some days to chill and explore the town, get familiar with some of the local restaurants, and visit temples like the Wat Cham Khao Manila Temple, a colorful Buddhist temple with one of the typical images of Laos the young Buddhist monks on orange robes. On the day we departed, we took a quick briefing in the Gibbon Experience office to know a little bit what to do and what to expect. We were ready to start the adventure. A jeep picked us to take us deep inside the Namkan National Park, but not long after, we had our first obstacle. No, not these waters, this wasn't the obstacle. We just stopped and it seems like there's people on the road. 
So that is the reason why we can't continue. The car coming just had some problem with the engine. They're waiting someone to come and fix it so we can continue because our cars are not there. But some muddy road and a faulty engine wouldn't be enough to stop any Laotian from continuing the way to the Namkan National Park. After a few minutes checking the car, we finally worked together and pushed the car all the way up out of the mud. Problem solved. After that short stop, we continued to the village where we left the car and started trekking through some fields towards the kitchen and storage room to get our harnesses and zipline equipment. We felt it had been a good decision to postpone the departure since it wasn't raining anymore and we got really nice weather. But still, the previous rains left the ground quite muddy and they told us to be careful with leeches. On the way, we found some surprises like... My feet on the mud. Ba -ba. Anyway, it's the first of many. Walking around along some fields. Now it's time to enter the jungle. We finally made it to the beginning of the zip lines, and after resting for a while, we took the equipment and got ready to continue our adventure. After a few zip lines, we arrived to our tree house, exhausted but excited. Let's explore this tree house number one. Very nice. And a toilet. And guess where the shit goes? All the way down. Drinking water, perfect. Wow, gas, portable gas, yes, running water works perfectly. Right, come, yep, nice. Tour. Water, wait, we just hang our harness here, and someone will sleep here tonight, I guess. And look at these views, man. We are about 40 meters from the ground. Let's go up.
Oh, someone else sleeps here. And we go to the roof. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. I'm giving us one. Later for video. Of course. Yeah. Now that's on video. Yeah. <laughs> You're asking on video if you can get a video. Yeah, I want to get it. <laughs> 40 meters. Oh, ah, yeah. Nice welcoming. Mm. I'll leave now. Mm. Bye bye. bye. Good See you tomorrow. Oh, there See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> 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 oh, <one. Yeah. laughs> well, he told me he did it with two. It's cold, it's not hot, but it's super refreshing. Oh my god. Yeah, one more six. Somebody? One more six. One more six. Oh, ha, do, what is for? Check it now. I think this is lab. Lab. Yeah. Red. This is lab. Lab. This is mushroom. Mushroom and mushroom. something. Egg. Red curry. No? Chicken. And yeah. Red curry and morning glory. No. 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 What is this one? Evening glory. Uh, okay. uh, of course, it's piggy rice. Then happy water. After dinner, we had some time to relax and listen to an infinite amount of creatures welcoming the night. Not only hearing, but we also could see some fireflies and other insects around the house. So, first night, uh, we're in this like tent in a tree house. There are a lot of bugs outside because it's night time and it's 8.30 p.m. Yeah, that means I'm really tired already. And we're going to sleep early yes. to see the gibbons. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. At least we hope we're gonna hear them in the morning, like the sunrise, maybe 6 a.m. or before that, I guess. If we are in this bed that they prepared with this mosquito, not really a mosquito net, it's just some. I don't know exactly what it is, but. But yeah. anyway, it's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, we are protected from rats and animals and everything. We sealed the mattress with all the clothes and. Yeah, this is where we're going to sleep tonight. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow morning. Hello. Our second day started and we could not feel happier to wake up surrounded by all those huge trees and fog and the animal sounds of the forest. To get some energy for the day we all had some really delicious and big breakfast prepared in the kitchen by the staff and got ready to do more trekking and zip lines to visit some of the other tree houses located around the Namkan National Park.
Break, break. Safe landing. Man, the arrival at this house is quite epic. This is red and house. Well, house, I don't know. I thought they lived underground. It's a viewpoint. It's a tree house. I made it! Just waiting on We are in tree house number five. Five. Right? Number, one, uh, number three. Yeah. This is three. Ah, sorry, sorry. Three house three, very cool. Small, but cute. Yeah. Ideal for small families or this big. This would be the honeymoon suite. I think it's better than go to the kitchen. We came through this line, and I guess we're gonna live through this one. The Gibbon experience is not only fun for the zip lines and trekking in the forest, but also very interesting for the incredibly engineered treetop architecture at 40 meters from the ground and with different floors. There are three different kinds of tree houses, suspended on rope wires, tree houses set on wooden consoles and geodesic polyhedron laid on the fork. The choice of construction type depends on the tree structure, shape and situation. Each construction is a new challenge because trees are just as different from one another as people. <laughs> okay. Oh, what for lunch? What they cook for us? Oh, morning glory. <laughs> yes. At last, Lost. morning glory. And nah, I don't know for this. Oh, yes. It's more uh, cabbage, cabbage. Yes. Oh, pad lao. Pad lao. Yes. Ah, pad lao. No, pad thai. And <laughs> mm. chicken. Looks good. Nice. So good. Oh. Smells good. Yeah. Lunch in treehouse number five. After this crazy long, beautiful zip line. Oh my god. Where you came from there? So for us, we go. Yeah. <laughs> At that point, we had an uninvited guest. <laughs> this blood here is from her camp. Should I like wash it or um, I might just have leave some it? Stuff like. Uh... <laughs> okay, enjoy, man. You will survive. It's fine. After that small incident, we continued exploring the other three houses, trekking in the forest and enjoying some more zip lines. The weather was hot and we kept sweating while going up and down the hills, the stairs and ladders. But with every fast zip line among the more than 15 kilometers of cable, we could refresh with the wind while admiring the vast forest of the national park. We had some more time to roam around freely and to repeat our favorite zip lines before going back to our tree house for the second night and leave the next morning. This is 
is the last breakfast. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. The last supper. You got some apple and some mango. That's one minute. And sticky rice and oh, French fries. <laughs> and omelette. And more omelette. And some happy people. Where? Some bread. <laughs> Some bread and jam. And, oh yeah, forgot that. Bread and jam and I don't know. And the sun is coming out. Even though we thought it was an expensive experience, we had to consider that we stayed two nights on a very unique accommodation, they provided seven very good meals, we had our own zip lining equipment for two full days and to use it as many times as we wanted, plus we had always a guide with us during the trekkings and in the house. So we really recommend the given experience in the Bokeo province, Laos. Ah. Ah.